Dr. Swarjla, Scientific Director with Ziva Fertility Centers. Diminished ovarian reserve, what is it? And is there a connection between this term, this phenomenon and recurrent pregnancy loss in women? We'll try to understand what exactly is diminished ovarian reserve, what studies say about it and is there a connection between poor ovarian number and quality and recurrent pregnancy loss. So diminished ovarian reserve can be defined as the reduction in the quality and the quantity of ovarian follicular pool in women of reproductive age. It means that in your ovaries, if there are lesser number than they are supposed to be according to your age, then you come under diminished ovarian reserve women. And it's very important cause of infertility in couples who are wanting to get pregnant. So there is a criteria to really define diminished ovarian reserve. There are three important factors that you should look at. And if you fall under two of these categories only, it is defined as diminished ovarian in reserve. The first is advanced maternal age means your age is more than or equal to 40 years or there are any other risk factors for diminished ovarian reserve. Second is a previous diminished ovarian reserve protocol as in less than or equal to three eggs with a stimulation protocol. There was a stimulation or there was a, a treatment cycle given to you which is called as a stimulation cycle where the response was not good and three or less than three eggs were seen to be growing. The third is an abnormal ovarian reserve test. What could they be? An antral follicular count of 5 to 7 follicles uh, or an AMH of 0.5 to 1.1 nanogram per milliliter. Now AFC is the number of follicles that your clinician will see on the scan which is performed on day 2 or day 3. So out of these three important criteria, if you fall under two of them, then you are treated for diminished ovarian reserve. Now, is there a connection between diminished ovarian reserve and recurrent pregnancy loss? In the population that was studied in many papers, it was seen that around 1 to 2 percent of women in reproductive age have adverse outcomes in pregnancy such as recurrent pregnancy loss and these affect about 1 to 2 percent couples. However, because we are able to now genetically evaluate this tissue which is miscarried when the pregnancy is lost, the fetus is now we are able to analyze genetically and it is known that about 90% of the fetuses which are aborted can be attributed to abnormality in the fetus. Abnormal pregnancies means that the genetic normality of the fetus when not there is called as a abnormal pregnancy usually is contributed to poor quality of eggs in women especially of advanced maternal age and this can be a root cause of recurrent pregnancy loss one of the major reasons of recurrent pregnancy loss. So evaluating ovarian reserve could potentially bring down your risk for recurrent pregnancy loss. Various biochemical and sonographic tests are available such as when I talk about uh, biochemical tests I mean anti-mullerian hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, luteinizing hormone, the ratio between follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone, basal estradiol. These are basically conducted on day 2 or day 3 of your cycle and they give us a great uh, deal of information about your ovarian reserve. In addition to this, a sonographic test called as antral follicular count or day 2, day 3 follicular scan will also reiterate the issue as in if there is diminished ovarian reserve, uh, it can be finally concluded with both these tests. Let's look at a study which very closely observed if there was a connection between diminished ovarian reserve and recurrent pregnancy loss. So this was a systematic and meta-analysis as in a lot of studies, a lot of women, more than 3000 women were studied, were taken into account in this study and then conclusions were drawn. So what are the conclusions? They concluded that AMH, FSH, LH, E2, these uh, important hormones will definitely throw light on the condition of the patient as in diminished ovarian reserve can definitely be concluded. But to say that it can be definitely concluded, antral follicular scan should also be performed. They said that more women with recurrent pregnancy loss come from diminished ovarian reserve issue. As in if you have diminished ovarian reserve, the quantity also the quality that is the abnormality is also high and therefore there is a higher chance of recurrent pregnancy loss in such women and women who have unexplained recurrent pregnancy loss so if you have had more than two three miscarriages or pregnancy losses there is a strong correlation that the woman could be having low ovarian reserve that is diminished ovarian reserve as well than compared to women who are having normal ovarian reserve so if you have a normal ovarian reserve your chances of a recurrent pregnancy loss are much lesser so there is definitely correlation between diminished ovarian reserve that is low number of eggs in your ovaries 
and pregnancy loss conclusions should be drawn on amh and other biochemical examinations and afc ultrasound so is there a way to avoid it the study also looked at how it can be avoided prenatal vitamins containing folic acid are the most important factors for maintaining egg quality your fertility specialist will put you on the right dosage especially when you're considering pregnancy ideally you should start prenatal vitamin now this could be folic acid zinc vitamin d a number of things that your fertility specialist will decide ideally you should start about 3 months before planning your pregnancy diet exercise other lifestyle factors also play a role in your egg's health or quality but it does not affect the number of eggs uh, or your egg count that is if you improved your diet and health it doesn't mean that your egg number will increase it will just improve the quality of your eggs if you wish to understand more about this please feel free to contact us thank you a lot of effort has gone into making this video please like and subscribe us thank you